Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video, as you've seen in the thumbnail, we're gonna be talking about the new Overlander build. We're gonna be going over a few mods that I've done since the last video. Uh, this is gonna be the next video in the series for the Overlander build. If you haven't seen the first couple, we deleted some badges, added a grill. You can check those videos out if you wanna see how I added it, how you get rid of the badges. This video is gonna be about that bad boy right there. We just got us a CVT rooftop tent. I'm gonna go over the tent. We're gonna open it up, go through it in this video. And I'm also gonna go over the bed rack that I went with, this thing right here and why I went with that rack, what I might change in the future. Uh, and also, I've done a few other mods to the truck off camera. I really didn't wanna make a video about them because they were kind of smaller mods, but I'm gonna go over those really quick and then we're gonna get into the tent. We're gonna open it up, show you how much room this tent actually has. It, it'll blow your mind how much room you get out of one of these little bitty rooftop tents. All right, so since the last video, uh, when we deleted the badges and added the TRD off-road badges up here, I have added a couple of other small mods. Uh, I'll take you guys off the tripod and show you. So I added these rain guards, which turned out really great. I love those. I didn't want to make a video because it's, I mean, it's, it's like a two minute job, but now I can crack my windows open during the day and it doesn't get so hot inside there. But one of the main things I added was these right here check that out guys i got rid of the chrome bumper and i found these on amazon actually they're paint to match tacoma end caps for your bumper so you know i want to slowly get rid of all the chrome on this truck and i think these were only like 140 150 bucks and the chrome ones just pop right off and you pop the paint to match one's own. So if you're looking for one, I'll link them in the video description. If you have a Tacoma and you want to get rid of the chrome, or if you want to add the chrome, you can buy the chrome caps, which I'm not sure why anybody want to do that, but they're there. I mean, if you want to go with a paint to match your vehicle, I would suggest that over the chrome any day. But yeah, so here is the CVT rooftop tent. Uh, here are the bed racks. So the bed rack system I went with, this is the KB, is it KB Voodoo? I think it's KB Voodoo. Uh, and this rack I uh, kind of like because you see how it, it kind of comes over the rail and then up off the side? Well, it's like that so you can still run a tonneau cover on the bed. So I plan on adding a tonneau cover under here to, so I can store some stuff on long trips under, under the rooftop tent without the weather getting to it and still have the rooftop tent above it. So a lot of the racks you get for these rooftop tents, they come straight up here and you cannot run a tonneau cover. So that's a plus. Uh, one of the downsides of this rack that uh, is probably gonna just take me getting used to it is I don't like not being able to see out of my back window because when I look in the rear view mirror, all I can see is, which I don't know if y'all can see it, but all you can see is the tent behind me. So I can't really see traffic behind me is something I got to get used to or later on I might go with a taller like the CBI rack I really like and it comes up to about right here so at least then I think I might be able to see out from up under it plus we're going to be adding the Prince roof rack to the cab very soon so y'all look for that video but I'm going to put you guys on the tripod and we're going to open up this tent I'm going to show you how quickly this thing sets up and then we're going to get inside of it and I'll show you how much room this thing has
All right, so it is 5.06. That took six minutes to do. We've got a complete setup tent on top of the truck, off the ground, so we don't have to worry about rainwater or mud or anything like that. And it, 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 we got shelter on the bed of our truck in six minutes. I'm gonna love this thing, I can't wait. And as you can see, I can still get to everything in the tailgate. I can still haul my kayak in the back of the truck. Ah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to try this thing out. Let me show you guys the inside of this tent real quick. So yeah, check this thing out. So you come up the ladder, look at this big old thick mattress right here, look at that. You can unzip the mattress and wash it or you can unzip it and add maybe uh, an egg crate mattress, which is what I'm thinking about. But it's got pockets on both sides so you can store like your cell phone and stuff. I've actually got some lights wrapped in here, but the batteries are dead. They're these little lights off Amazon. Uh, they're LED and you can control the color and whatnot, but Look how much room. I'm gonna see if I can climb in here. There's probably not good lighting, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, let me spin around. Sorry if I'm getting you guys sick. So check this out. If I'm gonna sleep in here, I'd be probably right back in here. Now look at the room. Look at this. We're on the bed of my truck, guys. I mean, like we're literally sitting in the bed of my truck. It blows my mind how roomy this is. Let me show you my feet. So like, there's the, there's the end of my feet. Look at this room. This is inside the tent, the bed of my truck. I'm just blown away. All right guys, so that is my CVT rooftop tent. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. Uh, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.